Tada! All right, gamers, for this episode of It's Only a Game, we are going to take a look at this awesome game. It's Rory's Story Cubes. I really love this game now. I've been playing it for several years. Um, and what we have here is three different variations of the Story Cubes. We have the original, we have the voyages, and we have the actions. Now the idea with this is pretty simple. Inside each box you have a, a set of nine individual um, dice. And on each one of the dice we have uh, six different pictures. And the idea now is basically you're going to be rolling out these uh, dice cubes in order to tell stories. Now if you use all nine dice, you have over 10 million combinations. So you can imagine how you can string together different narratives using all these different dice and you'll never end up with the same exact story. Now there are many different ways in which you can play this game. You can play it individually where you just take the dice and you roll them out and you try to tell a story on your own. Um, you can play competitively um, and the way I like to do this competitively is you have two or three or four or five people whatever uh, and you uh, take turns one at a time you will throw a die and you'll tell a story as you go and then you'll have your um, your fellow players will end up uh, being the ones who judge which story was the best. Um, you can also play um, uh, together cooperatively with others and this is also really fun. Uh, what you do then, uh, the way I usually play it is we divide the dice up. Um, um, say we're two people, or let's say we're three people, um, for the sake of using all nine dice. Um, and what we can do now is one person starts out and they roll a die, uh, and then uh, the next person continues on, rolls a die, and keeps the story going. Third person continues on, continues the story with that one, and you keep going around in a circle until you used up all nine dice, and that way you are able to tell a complete story together. I mean, and there are almost as many different ways of playing this game as there are different dice combinations. So you can imagine coming up with your own rules for how to make it really a fun game. So like I mentioned now, these dice are part of the original set. Um, and these are kind of some uh, more, I guess, generic kind of uh, items. For example, flowers, keyholes, we got a castle, tree, flashlight. Um, some more generic items for telling uh, good narratives. Over here, um, this uh, box is the Voyages box. Now what sets this apart is the Voyages um, have to do more with, uh, you could probably say, sort of um, mythical almost, um, kind of uh, um, Odyssean kind of story. So we've got uh, a lot of different things, exotic things. We've got some elephants, um, we've got crowns, we've got uh, water, caves, um, there's even a shrine. Uh, that's interesting, I've never seen that one before. Um, so you can imagine that this will give you kind of more uh, stories that are to take you places. And the last one over here is our actions. And these are basically just, um, as the name implies, they're just actions that you can take. Um, so for example, reading or um, jumping down the stairs or um, carrying a box or carrying something. Now if you really are looking for um, uh, more complicated narratives, what you can do is take one of these other two and combine it say with the actions. So we might take the voyages and start telling a story about a voyage we're taking and then include maybe every other die you could throw in an action die. And the way I typically like to run these stories, the way I do with my kids and with my, my sons, is that we will pick out a character, we'll pick out a setting, and then we'll pick out nine dice and just start rolling them out until we get to the end of the story. So all in all, this is a really great game. It's probably the most imaginative, creative game I have ever played. Uh, it's also quite demanding mentally. It forces you really to think hard. Um, you know, people play Sudoku, for example, or crosswords when they get older to try and keep their brain fresh. Well, I think I'm going to keep playing Rory Story Cubes to keep my brain fresh because it really makes me think and makes me uh, uh, really try to use my brain in ways I typically don't uh, on a normal day. So a great creative game for uh, kids and for adults both. Rory Story Cubes. Go ahead and check them out. And as a final word, I think we will be uh, using some of these in some future games or series we are going to be playing. So keep your eyes open for that. Most of all, thank you for joining us here today at Grey Army Gaming, where Grey can always play.